Hi everyone, Darren Hunter here. Before we get into our podcast, just want to do a quick shout out for Inspection Manager. What an amazing inspection app platform that they have. And they're really excited at the moment with their tenant assisted routine inspections, where your tenants in the convenience of their own time frame and in the convenience of their rental property, they can be getting you through the app inspections, um, their own inspection or their own photos that they've done. Now this is going to help you, particularly if you're in lockdown, but what we've also found as businesses have come out of lockdown, um, they've found that perhaps they can do maybe one or even two of these inspections a year aside from scheduling their normal routine inspections. The next step really, go and have a demo, have a look for yourself and make a decision where this could actually work for you too. So go to inspectionmanager.com, request a demo and check it out. Hi everyone, Darren Hunter here from the PM Growth Experts Show and I'm with Dennis Youssef. We are talking about the book again today, Dennis. I think um, we've just hit the milestone of a thousand books that have been posted. Uh, amazing milestone, Dennis. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty humbled. I've got about 100 and the, there's another, this is the 1,020th. I'm about to deliver that one um, tomorrow morning. But um, yeah, excited, Darren. Uh, there's, uh, I mean, the, the feedback's getting out there and I think the momentum's kicked on Yeah. as well, yeah. which is, you know, I mean, one lady the other day in the IGT in a circle was only saying that, um, she credits just one of the secrets to her growth. She's up on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. She said, yes. Dennis, I just put one of your um, secrets in place and it's a, and it's the main contribution to why we're getting so many more leads. Yep, yep. And another one just from Toowoomba as well, just before I haven't told you about, she uh, put into place the referral partners. Uh, okay. um, yep. cool. And uh, yeah, one of the secrets from the book and established the relationship. Um, she's now got a formal referral partnership uh, where she's uh, she's um, looking after their leads as as they bring them over, and she just credits credits it to you know the information that she's uh, she's read in the book. So um, and there's been a lot of feedback there, and I, just for people out there, if you haven't or don't know what we're talking about, the PM Lead Secrets is 45 different secrets on how you can grow your rent roll uh, without having to struggle with waiting on salespeople to deliver you leads or um, you know having to generate and deal with that cold online inquiry where people are just calling up and don't know you, but they just want to know your fees. So it's all about generating warm quality leads and the PM Lead Secrets book. The book is free. Just go to pmleadsecrets.com. That's pmleadsecrets.com. We just ask you to pay for shipping. But today, Dennis, we're talking in secret number 11 from the book, which is educational videos. Now, Dennis, I remember many speakers getting on stage over the years, many years ago, saying video is where it's going. Mm -hmm. But hasn't the video video world changed? It, it is all video now. And so I'm seeing a lot of chatter out there amongst uh, people growing their rent rolls. The more and more pressure is on to do educational videos. It's something that at IGT we've been doing a very, very long time and swear by. Um, but Dennis, um, you know, I think it's a, a right topic to talk about today. Oh, huge. I mean, Darren, I attended one of those training sessions that you're talking about, you know, um, Todd Breen, and I actually thank him in the book. Um, that's, you know, I attended a, a national training event that he told everyone to do video. So I did. I did the video. And now my very first keynote that I spoke about, um, which was at that same event, not at, at the same time, but same company, and I, I then was a keynote speaker at that event, um, I was talking about doing videos, you know, so it's great to go to training, but it's, it's better to implement what you learn at the training and, um, you know, implementing will give you results, but um, video certainly is the way to go. Um, people are going to get sick and tired of hearing me say it, but I talk about video like I have my coffee and we all know how much I have my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, so, I think your uh, introduction uh, quote yeah, your, in, your introduction quote on the chapter is, is very apt. And it said, being able to educate through video means you can gain trust and connect with more people at once. And so, you know, the way that educational videos work and why you need to do them is because it increases the currency and multiplies the currency that we all work with. The number one currency that changes hands 
between uh, a client, uh, a prospect, it becomes a client, um, is trust. And trust is a must because without trust, doesn't matter how good you are and how much of an expert you are, if your prospective client doesn't trust you, you just won't get the business. So why educational videos? I found with video, it's the fastest way to gain trust. Yep. And the best way with educational videos is the style that we're using is we're becoming the, the expert. It's I mean, if you don't know something, you Google it, right? You go to Google and there's a video there um, that people would watch. And if they see your video with your branding, you're, you're all of a sudden the expert on whatever that topic is. And, and we'll talk about that as we go through um, a little bit further. But, um, and, and what's really good is you only have to actually say it once. You say it once, like you do an educational video and you can reach hundreds, thousands of people just by saying the sentence once. If, you know, if, if I was to ask, if I rank every single property manager and said, um, you know, uh, think anyone that's listening now, if I was to ring you up and I said, look, I'm a potential landlord. I've got a tenant that's in my property at the moment and they, um, there's three months left on the lease. Once the lease is up, I'll give you a call and I'll get you to manage the property for me because I'm not happy with my current client. I can hear everyone getting fired up right now because they would know what to say. They would say, actually, we can take over now. You don't have to wait for the end of the lease. If someone was to do a search on Google for that, you know, how do I transfer my management? Can I transfer my management when the tenants is in a tenants in a fixed lease? And and that video is there by Darren Hunter from IGT Realty. I'm going to call Darren. He's my go-to man because of that video. And when I've watched it, I've heard his educational video. Oh, I can transfer my management when they're in a lease. You know, so they're not actually going to be looking at anyone else anymore. They're going to be focused on you. I think what, what's important, you know, for everyone to understand is that people want to deal with who they think does it the best. And so if you become in your educational videos, the go-to expert, that's the, uh, the person that they know and trust. You see, when you provide something that's highly useful to the other person and provided they had a problem first that they were wrestling with that they needed an answer to, and you provided that useful solution to them or useful expertise that scratched their itch, that soothed their pain, that provided them that aha moment, wow, I feel so much better, thank you very much. When we reach that point, then the great trust mm. transfer occurs. And, yep. and that's where they, they perceive you to be the expert when you've solved their pain and now they want to use you, which means they will go to and gravitate and magnetize towards the person they think does it the best. And that means that even though they know you've got competitors down the road, they'll ignore them. And here is another magic thing, Dennis. It's when people think you're the best and you're the best at what you do, they're expecting quality fees. They're not expecting you to be cheap. So never be cheap if you're the expert. So Dennis, I think educational videos are, are, are just so important. Um, you know, let's talk about, I'm going to throw into you all yep. that, you know, what about people are thinking, well, I've got to go get video production done or I need to go and go and hire a videographer. Well, you know, you're the king on this, you know. Let, let's talk about that. Guess what, Darren? We've actually, I've actually done an educational video on six tips how to do educational videos. So it like if everyone just goes to Inspired Grove Training YouTube channel, you'll see my video tips there on how to do a, a video. And one of the tips is raw and real. You know, uh, one of my um, avid followers, well, I follow, sorry, um, Gary V. You know, Google Gary V and, and have a listen to his motivational training. Uh, you won't see a professional video by Gary V. It's all done on a phone. It's all, you know, interaction because his famous quote is raw is real. You know, uh, people don't care what you're wearing. They don't care if you're unshaven. They don't care if your hair has got greys coming through, which ours does all the time, Darren, because they're intent on listening to what you've got to say, right? Con and con content is king, right? Yeah. And so you're is. sitting here, you know, you're not wearing an IGT T-shirt, 
You know, um, sometimes you're not shaved, but I don't think people care. It's not about the polish. It's about the content. And so, and, and we're doing an educational video, Dennis, about educational videos right now. <laughs> as long as we're delivering useful information, then people um, people are going to respond in the right way. So, Dennis, what just very quickly before we move on, though, what what is some of the ways that people can start doing educational videos right now? What what is the the, the right way, you know, without having to bring in an expensive videographer or something like that? Well, there's no reason why people can't do it because we've all got this device that's called a phone and your phone, as I shake it in the air for the people that are watching, um, the, the telephone has got a camera on it that you can do some recording, you know. Uh, it's like some, a quality camera now. We've, we've got yeah. great high definition video camera quality. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Dennis, do they need a selfie stick or anything like that? My selfie stick's my right arm. Sometimes it's my left arm. You know, you, you don't need to. You could just use it. If you want to get up into a little bit of production, sure, go buy a selfie stick or you can have a, a, a tripod on the desk or you could just use your, your Zoom camera like we're using off our laptops and computers now, you know. Um, it's quite simple. Just be sure not to be looking at the screen. You actually look to the eye of the camera. You know, it's called a pin you know, you can look at the pin of the camera. It's not a selfie, like you're taking a photo, um, you know, and, and it's okay to say, um, and it's okay to say, oh, oh, sorry, let me let me just repeat myself, because it's real. People want to know they're dealing with a real person. Um, you know, a couple of tips is have the, the sun facing you, the light on your face, don't have the light behind you, you know. So just if people are, are looking at Darren and our um this video now, if you go and watch it, you'll see Darren's got a lot more light behind him and he's dark. Whereas if you look at me, I've actually got a light on my face. I'm, I'm bright. That's how you've got to do your videos. You know, there's an educational tip for you, Darren. Yep. Th thank you very much. So, <laughs> but yeah, um, so anyone can do a, a, a video these days or you could have interviews. You could, you know, have um, someone hold the camera for you if you like too. Then there's another quote from the book here. Trust is accelerated. Uh, and what's even more fantastic is you can reach more than one person at a time. You see, we could educate somebody one-on-one -on -one over a coffee, right? Yep. But we can educate hundreds. And if the video is really good, thousands of people in one hit. So you're accelerating all of this trust with so many people. That's the great thing about video. Well, the next thing that we're going to talk about just to back up on what you're saying, is what type of educational content should you include, right? So as an example, how do I apply for a property? How many times does someone ring up and ask this question? Or they might say, um, I'd like to book in a time to view, or, you know, I don't understand how to fill in this application form. You know, all of these common questions that are asked all the time, you record it once, so your time, it might take you, let's say it takes you an hour. It's not going to take you an hour to do this, right? But let's say it takes an hour. You know, answering the question might be one minute each time, right? I guarantee you can have more than 60 people watching that video. Once you've had 60 people plus, your time is now banked. You're in front, you know? So it's really important to, to have those, you know, and that's how you one video can reach more people because... You're going to have all these links. Someone asks you a question. That's a great question. Yeah, you can. Um, I'll send you some information on that. Click here to have a look at this. So um, that's where your time banking, right? So you might have a short video, and then you've got your longer version of um, that full interpretation of whatever it is. Now you've got a few. You've got by in the book here, Dennis, on mm -hmm. page sixty-four. You've got a number of different suggested topics. So how to choose a property manager, how to apply for a property how to prepare my home for rent or sale, uh, how to market my property, how to do a routine inspection, and on and on and on and on those topics could go, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, and, and what I've learned is if people are thinking, okay, well, there's some great topics there, but at the end of the day, you've got to understand people are really, really busy mm -hmm. and they just got, won't go and watch any content anymore. Um, they only watch content which is directly relevant to the problem that they're struggling with at that time. And this is where my famous comment comes in, Dennis, that you've got to get 
good at knowing what goes on in the bedroom of your clients and quickly to qualify what I'm saying, it means that when their head hits a pillow, what are they stressing about? What's keeping them awake? What problem are they are they sweating about? And so there's those key anxiety points that is the big problems. And you only have to talk to a few of your typical clients to find out what are those issues or what were the issues were they struggling before they actually sign that management agreement and all those sorts of things. It's not going to take long to work out what are the key topics to put in there in your educational videos. But here's my warning. Don't ever deviate from the big problem points because then people will you'll just get crickets people will ignore your content because it's just noise and people are getting very very good at ignoring noise now yeah um, and, and as the heading is quite important on those videos as well right um you know you need to to, to catch their attention it, you know so you know don't be scared to give away the plot in the video right it, it, the, as a heading like you know, this is what you're going to learn, you know, how to, et cetera. So it's really important that um, you catch their attention of those pain points. You know, um, the next thing we talk about is where do you post them? I've already mentioned Google, right? Because people yeah. Google. Yeah, well, the next year part of the book is where do you post your educational videos? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, YouTube, it's a no-brainer. Where's right? the best place? Yeah, it, YouTube. It's, the, it, it, it's, you know, the... Most used website in the world is YouTube, but more people log into it than any other um, avenue, you know, worldwide. So why wouldn't you be using YouTube? And all of these educational videos need to be, you know, logged into your website. So, you know, as people are watching a video from your website, um, then it builds your search engine optimization. And we talk about that in another secret. But, um, you know, it's really important to utilize YouTube. You can put these on LinkedIn, you can um, put them on social medias. You can have them as reels on Instagram as well. Um, everywhere is basically where you put them. Yeah, you know, and wherever your clients are. How is it right? You just got to understand some of them with their limits as well. So LinkedIn has a ten-minute time limit, mm -hmm. um, and Instagram has its limitations as well. And of course, uh, Facebook um, is uh, yeah. I mean, I've never loaded something that Facebook's rejected because it's too long. Uh, but you've just got to again get back to the point. It's got to be highly useful. Yep. And, and a couple of great books I want to throw in, you know, if you really want to learn this, there's two really good books on what we call content marketing, which is highly useful content um, where you become the expert. Um, two good books is Utility, Y-O, Utility, um, and uh, also Content Inc. Uh, so Content I-N-C and Utility, Y-O, Utility. So go and check those out. They're great books. I just love content marketing. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, Dennis, and I think, you know, going from that as well, particularly on Facebook, when we're loading videos in, we can then, uh, you know, gather in our Facebook ads an audience of people that have watched those videos as well. There's all sorts you can do with what's called a video views audience um, and, and be able to market to those people that have paid attention. And you can even ask Facebook to, you know, to uh, segregate people that have watched 50% or 75% or even 95% plus of your video, which means the more they've watched it, the more qualified they are. And these are all the sort of things that you can do with, with videos. Um, so uh, yeah, um, certainly really good. Yeah, Darren, and um, videos, again, if you want to do a, a video that's longer than 10 minutes on LinkedIn or on Facebook, do a live interview someone you know you could you can do a facebook live and you can interview them and that then gets downloaded to your device make sure you've got your settings right on your phone um so when you're doing those videos and those videos can then get uploaded onto youtube you could split break them up you could do so much with them mm. you know so you can get away with doing a longer video than 10 minutes it, it's got to be it, it's got to be catchy you know you want it to 10 minutes is a long time for an educational video and that's where you might be interviewing three people, three strategic alliances, et cetera. There's so much you could do, Darren. <laughs> and Dennis, let's talk about the phobia of video because there's a lot of people out there scared of doing video and perhaps you want to give Nikki's story. Well, I mean, we've got Nikki's story that I can share about, but just before I talk about that, um, pretend you're talking to one person. If somewhat that, like I, I explained at the beginning of this recording, if one person rang you up and said, that uh, about their tenant that's going to be vacating in three months or the lease is up, you you would just vomit all that information out. So when you're doing that educational video, you pretend that you're just talking to that one person because 
when the people are watching the video, they want to sense or feel that you are speaking directly to them. So, you know, and when, you know, yeah, you might get hundreds of people watching it, et cetera, and that's fine, but just pretend to, that you're speaking to the one person for the phobia. Uh, but Nikki, she's a great example. We've got quite a few different examples, Darren. Um, you know, Amy's another one um, from Toowoomba and Chriselle from Brisbane. Uh, there's Julie Collins, there's Linda Galaboskas. There's lots of people that have all said that they won't do videos. Um, and now they're all doing the videos. But, um, you know, uh, we've got a, another podcast in the Pam Growth Expert show on Nikki Craig that people could listen to. I think she was listing um, 12 to 16 doors um, per month and she's she credits that to do the videos because when we did a, a, a closed master class session with her I dragged her up to the front of the room and she was nearly fainting just standing in front of a room that she's already hung with for two days let alone getting in front of a camera and um, you know she you know we helped her she overcame her phobia and now she's doing educational videos all the time all the yep. time yeah, yeah, because she believes in the power of those. And of course, yep. just go to the PM Expert, PM Growth Expert podcast show, and uh, probably about 10 or 15 episodes in, you'll find Nikki Craig's um, interview there as well, which is really, really um, worthwhile, particularly if you want to get into educational videos. So, Dennis, I think um, good, good podcast today. Um, and again, just a, a shout out for the book, um, everybody, PM Lead Secrets, um, dot com. The book is free. There's, there's, you know, I mean, I'm counting over 100, there's 190 pages of lead, how to generate leads, um, warm quality leads. It is the most comprehensive lead generation book that's ever been written in property management on the planet. The book is free. Uh, just got to pay shipping. Uh, just a small uh, a cost for shipping of $9.97. And just go to PM Lead Secrets. Dot com. So, Dennis, thank you very much again. And uh, we'll bang out another podcast recording on a chapter in the book very soon. No problem. Thanks for having Thanks. me, Darren. Thanks, everyone. Take care.